Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all the well known by nearly friends, and welcome to a brand new day. I may well sound actually terrible, IRL, as well as just to my ears. I got to bed late last night. I got to say this quick because I don't want to forget, and I feel terrible, so likely I'm going to be forgetting. But I went to bed around 11.30 last night. Some days I got to bed real late. That's when the light was off, and I was trying to finally fall asleep. I had the fan set up because it was hot, and I had the head of the bed up, so it took a while to fall asleep, but once I did, I slept until I woke up, probably around 3 or 4, freezing. I was just way too cold, and on top of that, I was hurting extra. Oh, my God. My hands are just bad today. They hurt so much. And that was waking me up, so, I mean, just not even doing anything. It felt like people had slammed sledgehammers into my hand, so it was great. So I just lay in bed because I was tired until 5.30, then just got up. And it took about a half hour of feeling myself not being able to wake up that I realized I just don't feel good. Well, in these pandemic times, one of the things... I have two housemates. They are a young couple, a young woman, a young man, and they are boyfriend, girlfriend. She, to supplement her income, because she got fired at the beginning of all this stuff where she works in the pandemic, like a lot of people did, and so she's been on unemployment and this and that, and she's been taking care of kids, babysitting. Well, she was babysitting outside of the house with kids, and then last week, spent a couple days really just dead sick and they don't wear masks inside the house or around other people I mean they do when they go out because you have to and I don't wear a mask when I'm inside as she got better then he got sick he is starting to get better I'm getting sick I started coughing and hacking last night as I was laying there in bed just trying to be warm and not get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. So I've been coughing and hacking and wheezing and sneezing and I just feel terrible. I cannot wake up fully. I extra hurt. Uh, So thumbs up on that. Yeah, it's. I suffer from a lot of chronic issues. I have a ton of chronic pain that just keeps getting worse every year from a lot of nerve damage, and I have fibromyalgia, and I just got chronic weakness, chronic fatigue, a whole bunch of stuff, and being sick just doesn't help. So I'm going to have to call up my therapist and say, I, I, I cannot have my, my session today. I am just dead. I've taken my... ADHD meds today, all full 20 milligrams. I've taken caffeine and I've taken THC and ibuprofen and I feel like I just woke up and it's been almost two hours. I feel like I just woke up. My brain will not wake up. I literally feel up here inside my head like I just woke up. So I am ill and that's special. I love that. One of the problems is, of course, my housemates, they don't cover their mouths when they cough. I've been blasted with full particles in the past, and so they just cough and hack. I will use my hand, back of my hand, my arm, my elbow. I try not just to blast particles, except if I'm out in the middle of nowhere on walkies. If I've got no one there and I remember, I'll cover my hand. But if I'm just in the middle of a field you know, on a trail, and I start hacking, I'm not going to worry about anybody around me getting particles, because by the time anybody comes around there, everything's going to be blown away and dissipated. So there's been airborne particles, and yeah, I picked stuff up, so joy. Yeah, after all this, i got to call up my therapist between 8 and 9 and say, I, 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 no, no. So... Am I going to get stuff recorded and edited for today? Well, I have one video that I need to edit and then render and upload for my main channel. And I want to make other things for my other channels. I need to do reactions. I don't want to do 
daily stuff. That's too much of a pressure right now. So if on my game channel I can do like two or three a week, that'll be good. My reactions, if I can do three or four a week, that'd be awesome. And then of course there's this channel. Let's see, the, 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 and then the creative and disturbing stuff, I'm just about ready. I was ready to start writing and I've got a whole bunch of extra ideas for talking about my characters in the cosmic horror framework. So there's a lot of stuff that's gonna be coming out there. Hopefully not at a pace where I burn out. I've even been thinking, I've gotta make up another channel now. Five, nearly senior citizen shorts where I can make YouTube shorts videos. Cause I got some silly and goofy ideas for one. I got one where it's just, I'll be, it's like a close up, you know, from here up where I'm going, yeah, I wear. And then I show myself turning to the, so I face the other direction and I slap my hand on my hip because it's a focus on my backside because I'll be wearing my jorts. And I say, I wear jorts, slap. And then after that, I bring my hands down and the camera pans down to my support stockings with the white stock socks over the support stockings into my shoes and I'm going to put the shoe with the duct tape on it and then just say with my support stockings and then that's the first short that's going to happen can I get it done I don't know I hope so but yeah and it's all because all the extra channels finally it sank into my skull because I've been worrying about my channel getting less and less views and less and less recommendations and it's just dying and that's because it's a variety channel and the algorithms don't know how to properly recommend if you're not doing the same thing. If you're just doing gaming stuff, it's going to send it out to gaming people. If you're doing this, it'll send it out to all these people. If you're doing gaming stuff and then you do other things, it doesn't know what to do. And so it doesn't recommend you. So, yeah, I'm still going to mirror the stuff from the other channels over onto this channel after like a week, two weeks, so that people can see the stuff. I'm going to have an intro saying this is mirrored, and so it's the mirrored thing. Maybe some cutout stuff so that it's a little bit shorter, but we shall see. So thumbs up on that. I do have plans, and hopefully I can actually get all these things done. So thumbs up on that. Let me take a look over on the side. Ah, my dentures do not fit, and I do not have money to get them fixed, so... Hopefully they're not just going to pop out while I'm talking. The top one has tried to a couple times. Your body changes. You gain weight, you lose weight. The inside of your, the shape of the inside of your mouth changes. So if you get your dentures made when you weigh 170 and then you weigh out 200 now, the inside of your mouth is different. Your dentures aren't going to fit. So you get a soft liner, which is just a temporary thing, but it makes them fit. And then you lose weight. You're down to 170 again. Well, now the soft liner there doesn't fit. So, yay. But, <laughs> <coughs> one thing I was oddly enough thinking this morning, I was thinking about the book The Forever War by Joe Haldeman and how there is far, far off in the future because of a misunderstanding, there is a war going on with an alien race that because of relativistic speeds, by the time you ever come across them, possibly thousands of years could have passed. And the main character was a survivor from the very first encounter with this alien race. And because of time dilation and travel, ended up being present when the war was over and finding out that it was just a mistake. But one of the big points about that is to save the human race, one of the things that happens is humanity became just the clones of each other. They found the best genotype and made everybody that way. But they're also, when people are coming back from the war, realizing they may have made a mistake, they may need some genetic extra stuff. So everyone coming back from the war, they're urging to just go out, uh, colonize other planets and breed so that there's other DNA in case we need it. But I was thinking of a dystopian future. And so the main character of this story that I've been thinking of wakes up and it's Peter Alice Sullivan O'Grady. And they wake up to the sounds of their bed gently clunking as the machinery winds down. And so they get up, they go through their day, 
and it's a largely printed world and so there's a lot of stuff going on <coughs> resources are not at a premium safety is not at a premium because everybody in the world is Peter Alice Sullivan O'Grady you wake up you see Peter Alice Sullivan O'Grady all around you you're Peter Alice Sullivan O'Grady you go through your day you sometimes drink some stuff, but you don't really eat anything. You do your stuff, and at the end of the day, you sit down in your bed. And because everything is printed, uh, well, at the end of the day, uh, the bed just melts you down and takes your physical stuff to use to build you the next day. And Peter Alice Sullivan O'Grady wakes up to the gentle clunking sounds in the bed because it just finished printing Peter Alice Sullivan O'Grady to go out and do things again. So that's a grim story that I've got in mind and I wanna write that. That came up today just because I was thinking of the forever war thing. So you never know where you're going to get inspiration and you don't have to be fully healthy to think of things because I was thinking of all this stuff before I even realized I was sick. So thumbs up for that. And I'm still trying to think now. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, my throat hurts. And not just because I've been talking, but because I'm sick. So, yay. Let's see what else we have over here on the list. There is not a whole lot. So, what I'm going to try to just sort of fade out on this one is... I had gotten into the game Starbound when it first came out. And, you know, EA, Early Access. And... It was a fun game, and they were working on it, and they were changing it, and they were doing stuff, and as they advanced stuff, it was fun. But then I played it obsessively for a long time, and then I just stopped because, a hey, ADHD, you know, I can hyperfixate for a time, but then I'm on to the next thing. And then I would come back to it every couple of years. Last time I'd come back to it was when they had major changes, and everything was different. I mean, the front was... A weird thing, of course, where whatever race you are, there's this hideous stuff that's destroying planets right and left, and then you barely escape and you crash land and you start doing things. I didn't really like what was happening there because so much of the planet you couldn't even change. Every single screen you were on, you could not modify at all. And there were just tons of NPCs. It was overwhelming. They've made another change. Now when you load it up, it comes with a mod, just like Terraria comes with this one mod that's a mod loader, the T-Mod loader. When you download it, it's a part of the product. Now when you load up Starbound, it has the Fracken Universe mod, and it's best if you also use it with like the Fracken races and such like that. And it's just not, not fun. I went and tried playing it a lot the other day, and generally, if I reach the point where I find it just stupid, I lose interest. Like, if you come across in a game a beast or a situation or something where your character, you think you're tough enough for it, but the game is saying, no, you're not, but you can incrementally chip away at it. So you can just keep, you die, your stuff is left there. You respawn, run all the way back, grab the stuff that you can, do a bit more damage, and then you die. And then it reloads, and you run back, and then you die. And you respawn and reload, and by the time I've reached the point where I'm just going, okay, I'm dead, run back, I don't even care anymore. It's stupid. When you can just endlessly do that, it's stupid. So, I just uninstalled Starbound, and I'm going to stick with games that didn't get destroyed. I mean, I'm sure there are some people that enjoy Starbound the way it is right now, but if you take a look at the reviews, well, maybe with the Frack and Mod reviews, it's a little better, but before that, it's, no, no, everyone just abandoned it because they hated what the devs had done. So, yeah. 
And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. And I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I am just going to thank those people, you know, for, for having taken the time and expended the calories. Thank you very, very much. You know, so good, bad, and different. You look, took the time. Thank you very much. <laughs> <coughs> I'm an American English speaker, so if I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. And even though I can't American Sign Language, on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, grief, THC use, and more, I have a lot of memory issues. So, we have, I'm tripping on 500 milligrams of DXM, oh my fucking God, thumbs up and thank you very much. And okay. I'll, I'll recheck back into that. Now that I'm an ADHD meds, Kraton might be a good idea. Jeremy Staples, oh boy, do I ever. Lindsay Kania, thumbs up and thank you. We have Ice Damon, greatly appreciated. Confused Owl, good to see you in the comments, thumbs up. Gargi Bhattacharji, I am nowhere close, but thank you. Forest Meme, greatly appreciated. Nando Rice Charuti, thumbs up and thank you very much. Made in Canada, always good to see you in the comments. We have Hunter, thumbs up, and Rihanna Rolf, thumbs up and thank you. <laughs> I use that question a lot. Sasha Boy, too, thumbs up and a good idea. Samu K6, greatly appreciated. Eggman, thumbs up and thank you. Christopher Thomas, greatly appreciated. We have Ghosty Ghost, thumbs up and thank you. And keep looking and oh my god, it's Pooley, whom, you know, good to see you in the comments, thank you. Ice Damon, I believe, thank you. And Potato Tron, good to see you in the comments, my friend. Thumbs up. Gory Gaming, greatly appreciated. Colin Reisenauer, thumbs up and thank you. We have E-P-S-I-L-X-N-N, -N, thumbs up and thank you. And that is it, 22 people. Thank you all so very much. You get me out of my head and into the world and dealing with real people. And that is a good thing. Thumbs up and thank you. If you could check out my various links down below, I have Twitter, Facebook, Patreon.com. If you could become a Patreon.com patron, like one of these beautiful and awesome people, that would be beautiful and awesome. And if you'd like to help me out without sending money through the patronage, I have a PayPal link down below. If you'd like to help me out without sending money at all, I have an Amazon wish list link as well. And of course, if you... Well, no. I, I derailed myself. Do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them on the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. And if you can toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very awesome. Thank you so very much. And of course, I still have that P.O. box. If you could send me postcards, keychains, whatever you'd like, you know, I'll open them on screen and we'll have an unboxing. So thumbs up on that. Oh, goodness gracious. Sometimes even taking precautions doesn't help when the bug gets into your house. But since the pandemic is still raging around the world, please be safe and be careful. Get vaxxed if you can. Wear a mask when you go out. Wash your hands. Try not to touch your face. Maintain your social distancing. It's a good idea. You know, I was doing great on staying healthy until my housemates brought the bug home. So all the precautions work. So you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, and that is a very good thing.